Dear loving God, we thank you in this holy morning. As your children, we have come unto your presence to taste that the Lord is always good and to taste the love, the communion of this holy family of English, Wesley Church. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful presence. Thank you for your commitment to love us, to save us, and to engage with us. Lord, as we are going to medita meditate upon your words, open our eyes and thoughts to listen to your word and to follow the footsteps of your scriptures and our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear family members, I greet you all on behalf of the National Missionary Society of India. I thank you as the General Secretary of the great organization which is doing its ministry in 21 states of our country, which was started by the great leaders particularly by the Vedanayakam Samuel Asiraya, in whom we are celebrating his 150th year birthday this year. I personally thank you for this family because you have been so supportive in sponsoring a missionary. And you know, some of you might have remember last time we came with the colorful uh, uh, children from the Bijapur. With your love, with your uh, sponsors, with your prayers, and many of your supporters individually and through the church, we are doing God's ministries, particularly uh, among the tribes. 90% of our uh, works are among the tribes, so on behalf of all of them, those who yet to read, some of them yet to read what, it is, what a, a book is. Some of them yet to hear who is Jesus. And we especially thank for Reverend Benjamin Anna for inviting us to share the good news today with you and to share the love of Christ with you. And a very special thanks to Benjamin Anna. Uh, and he's been so kind to us, particularly with fellowship, personally, and also to the, the NMS family. We also thank Mr. Bernard Aya for uh, uh, inviting us. We also thank Mr. Joshua Aya, the treasurer, for inviting us, and all the family members. And I thank the family once again for the various support, the ministries that you have taken to establish the kingdom values. Sadhu Sundar Singh stood on behalf of NMSI as Handrady Missionary, you know that. And we are also on the track to spread the gospel, particularly in the time of trials and tribulations, pain. Day before yesterday, we went to a village near Punganur, Andhra Pradesh, a gypsy uh, village. We, st uh, we started uh, a new church building to begin. We, have be uh, we prayed and laid the foundation stone. On the other, other hand, there are two places in Orisha right now. We have started to construct a church, but now the forces RSS and uh, VHB and other forces are uh, pressurizing the landowner whom had given the land for us not to register and not to increase the construction. So it is next month we are supposed to dedicate that. See how we are uh, in trouble. And we also have dedicated, uh, uh, we have constructed a church in Erode, Andiur. Uh, district 
on a hills devar malai and yet we, we had to dedicate that building my dear family members we are on a serious days we have a blessed family to celebrate the gift of god and i need your prayers and support to engage with the mission and to establish the kingdom of god in our time this is what our prayers must be so once again i thank on behalf of all the missionaries and the children of have nearly 500 children who are studying in 14 host hostels in our uh, tribal areas in our hostels and we once again thank you for your support poverty after a long time we are hearing this word some of us might have not experienced this word oh poverty what does it mean sometimes we don't even read the definition what is the poverty poverty is a state or condition in which an individual lacks the financial resources and uh, essential for a certain standard of living வாழ்வதற்கு அத்தியாவசியமானது இல்லாதவன் ஏழை அப்படின்னு குறிப்பிடுகிறார்கள் லெஸ் தென் நைன் பர்சன்டேஜ் லிட்டில் லெஸ் தென் நைன் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் நைன் பர்சன்டேஜ் இன் த வேர்ல்டு ஆஃப் த டோட்டல் பாப்புலேஷன் ஆர் லிவிங் இன் அட்டர் பாவர்ட்ரி தே டு நாட் ஹாவ் a hundred rupees per day in calculation just imagine the plight of the poor they are unable to participate in the society if you don't have money you cannot participate in the church if you don't have money you, you cannot participate in the society so there are four kinds of poverty extreme poverty no shelter no food ex generational poverty if your father if your mom is not quite doing well you you are suffering with that urban poverty like slums collective poverty in africa particularly now in uh, sri lanka collective poverty the total fa- a nation are suffering in poverty okay I'm, i'm not going to brief what it is because everyone knows that you might have come across particularly in indian context so what is our christian response today my first question what we need to what do we need to respond who are poor who are poor yesterday in the before yesterday when we were in raipeta for a shopping one of the girl and one of the lady was calling with her uh, mobile phone hey come here here so many people are there what are you doing there in a phone she was calling and she is a beggar i was wonder now it uh, it has come to the level of online uh, begging who is the poor sometimes when we cross the signals if you have, if you if you don't if you, are, if you are not able to give the one who is asking we will think whether he is poor or i am poor sometimes if we give no then we will become the rich and we will uh, look around whether some of them are giving or not how do you define poor god's eye and heart is with poor as christians we need to understand this concept because it is the theological narrative it is the theological need it is every christian's 
need to understand what is poverty and who is poor in what area Amos explaining to the people of Israel you are very poor you may think that you are very rich and oppressing the poor in turn you will become poor you don't understand who Christ is who God is and who, whom he is hearing and whose call he is able to receive you don't understand Amos was crying to the people, just turn back to God, just turn back to your fellow members and you are trying to enslave them, your own brothers and sisters and with for the cheaper money, all the things, this human greed, God created the humanity with equality. But due to sin, the disparities have come to the lives of human life. However, God impartial justice will give his heart to the needy people. James, just read this one word. How will you define James 2 verse 5? If you have Bible. You can read or I'll read it for you. James chapter 2 verse 5. Listen, my dear brothers. God choose the poor people of this world to be rich in faith. Sometimes we may miss the holy service, but not the poor who is waiting at the door. Every morning they will come by 7 o'clock. Someone will drop there or they will come on their own. They will never miss this because they will know that if they come to the church, they will receive something. God shows the poor people in faith and more particular, more important is and to possess the kingdom which he promised those who love him. How do you define poor? Do you have the authority or do you have the assurance of possessing the kingdom today? Those poor have. Not on their own, but the gift of God is already there on them. Amos calls us to look at our brothers and sisters and their cry and to renew ourselves with God's thinking to help them. In other words, God does not want just a society where you live, but he wants a just society. My second point, where do we need to respond? First, what? James also addressing the partiality. Our eyes are endless in partiality. But the God of justice, the God who has given his life on the cross, you just imagine if, you, if he has shown his injustice to you and me, where will it stand? Are we righteous enough to stand here? Why do you show the injustice, partiality to your neighbor? It is everywhere, it is everywhere. It is everywhere. Human eyes are sinful. For one person, sit here, my friend, sit here. For another person, hey, go and stand there. Not in the way of their, uh, but the, the, the inside, the values inside you is different from the values of Christ. Dividing through the glasses of caste, EWC here, you know EWS, economically weaker section. You know, you know what it is. Per month they should earn 60,000. They can earn EWS I'm talking about. And they, should, they can have five acres of land. Even if it is 5.99 acres, they will be okay. They are poor, power, poor only. They can have you know, a house of thousand square feet. They are all poor. 
for five castes only. My dear family members, just imagine how we are all uh, categorized in terms of caste. This Indian context, without reading the caste, you cannot understand the poverty. And classes, gender, gender. After a long, long journey, even today, there are more women are under economic status because they don't have the power over what they earn or the family earns. Bonhoeffer joined the rebellious group and he was arrested by the Hitler's uh, Nazi troop and he was asked, why being a priest, why did you join them? And he said, what brother? A mental fellow was riding a car and he was hitting everyone and people are dying. What should I do? Can I take an ambulance and go and heal all those fellows or shall I take a gun and go and shoot that mental fellow? Here I am, the representing Christ's love to defend my people, those who are in need. My third point, how to address. By your kindness, by your kindness. See the, uh, how the Luke and uh, Gospel de de uh, defi uh, derives, how he, uh, you know, decorates the rich man with the linen cloths, with the uh, enormous food, and how he defines the poor man with the swords, not for a single piece of bread. Yes, it's extremely, you know, it, it, this is how the life is going. But the kindness only, the kindness. The Christianity has to respond in this way. The world will not respond. It gives another EWS. But you and me have to respond through Christ's way with his own kindness, through his own kindness. And Paul says, let your plenty may be shared in their nothingness, so that in turn, your nothingness will be shared in their plenty. You cannot simply theologize the, poor, uh, the poverty. Oh yes, the poor will go to the heaven and they will enjoy. You cannot simply go and say that. But the problem is with the rich people. And it is also a problem with the rich people's, uh, uh, you know, family members. And he was not only crying for him, but he also cries for the family members. Oh, I have five, uh, my uh, five brothers. They are also looking like this only. Can I go and tell them that th there is a way of going to, uh, you know, heaven? Because they are also living like me, lived like me, living like me. My dear family members, we need to address us family to this poverty. Try to address just one, just one, once in a time. And enjoy their yada in siripul iraivane kanbo. What a theology. We cannot see God unless you love your neighbor. Let me conclude with uh, Robinson Sharma. He is giving some of the insights on who is rich. Good human. Nalla manalala thoda irkarama. He's a good millionaire, but he does not know who he is now. How do you feel? Some of our family members uh, in hospitals, they don't know what they eat. And the second one is good health. Go and ask those who are in hospitals, what do you want? I want to 
go away from this place i want to be healed what do you want are you rich or are you poor good family oh what a rich we ex- experience we have good family if you have a good family you are the richest person in this world love your family the peace begin within your family the richness begins with from your family and without love you say adha if someone uh, is wrong in their paper they will automatically tell edho avan veetla prachana pola irukke they won't tell that they have written wrong they will always tell that they have some problem in their home if you have a rich good family you are rich sometimes you need to understand that how the people on the uh, you know uh, ways on the platforms they how they peacefully sleep and many a times without peace without uh, you know uh, happy moments we are endless sleeps or oh, what a uh, pity that we have but we have a good family good working a good job good working space because eight hours we are in with them and ask god for your please pray for your children because they are suffering with the so much of pressure in their working places whether in online or in uh, offline pray for them because they need to have a good space to work and they need to express christ towards them if they are in pressure they will not see the christ in others and they will find a uh, solace over there and good focus of course i have something what is my focus being a christian i need to have a focus to live i need to share what i have i need to share with my friends i need to share somebody said that my hunger is my physical need my fellows uh, my neighbors hunger is my spiritual need as mother teresa said without love you can give and without giving you cannot love are you rich enough and or can nandi solunga shall we all stand for a minute lord thank you for the good family good health good consciousness good working space good focus good family of english wesley church am i in poor oh lord respond to him without loving and touching the heart of the poor you cannot touch the gate of the heaven you can touch the gate of the heaven in this world give whatever you can to the poor through this church and personally individually as family go and see the poor in vayanad over a night they became poor in vijayawada overnight they became poor for single bread you and me are blessed talk to god niraivatra vaalve vaandu vande niraivana ummanbe marandu nindre நிறைவற்ற வாழ்வை வாழ்ந்து வந்து நிறைவான உம்மன்பை மறந்து நின்று உம் சாயல் இழந்து தவித்தேன் உம்மோடு உறவாட விழைந்தேன் உம் சாயல் இழந்து தவித்தேன் உம்மோடு உறவாட துணையாளரே உண்டை வந்து